Stella is sleeping on the turbo scratcher. She is so funny. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Eight fourteen a.m. Simba's on the bed. We've been playing with the cat charmer toy. Estella's in the cat tower. We've been playing with the cat charmer toy. Splash is on the floor. We've been playing with the cat charmer toy. Now I'm playing with Boo. Boo's on the scratch and roll. I just weighed the cats today. Now I can't get Splash. I tried, um, but he keeps running away. So this is what the cats weigh right now. Boo is at 15.2. Simba is at 14.4, Stella is at 15.8. They have all gained weight, some more than others. So uh, this just reinforces my wanting to do a crunchy free month with them. I just gave the cats their food. Uh, they're getting the primal raw venison nuggets. I had four left. And they're getting the primal raw turkey and sardine nuggets for dogs. Those are the darker ones, and the venison nuggets are the lighter ones. And there are no crunchies. And there is some additional water on the platter. And I don't care if the cats don't eat their meal, because they all could stand to lose some weight. And if they skip a meal here and there, it's not going to be a bad thing, because in the wild, that's what happens. They don't always have a steady source of food, and every now and then they might skip a meal. So, can we make it through the next 24 hours without any crunchies at all? Huh, boo? I don't know what just happened, but I was sitting on the sofa in the living room, and Boo was sitting on my lap getting pets, and... Simba's in the cat tower, Splash is by the door, they were both within my view, and then all of a sudden, I just heard like a cat meowing and crying and crying and crying and crying, and then I came into the kitchen and Stella's just sitting there. So I don't know who that was. I looked outside, I thought maybe it was Hydrox. It's not Hydrox, it didn't even sound like Hydrox. So, um, yeah, that was just really weird. Okay, so are we gonna play? We're gonna play? You don't wanna play? You were just playing so nice. Okay, I'll leave you alone. You stay. I came outside a little while ago and I saw Hydrox, so I gave him half of a can of the Nature's Variety Chicken Pate. And look, he pretty much ate the whole thing. He really likes the Nature's Variety food.
I think it's about 2 p.m. right now. I just came outside and I noticed this. So someone, some creature, an animal, uh, has placed one of these black walnuts in my flower pot. I don't know if a raccoon did that, a squirrel, or what, but they did not bury it. They just left it there. Here's Hydrox. He's hanging out on the patio. It's probably really cool for him there. Gets a nice breeze and the concrete stays cool. He's in the shade. It's not dinner time yet, so. Sitting here on the sofa and I have been trying to massage Boo's jaw. If he is having problems with his teeth and his gums, this is going to be the closest I'm getting right now. Like, I'm not going to be able to open his mouth and massage his gums, but if I could really massage around his mouth and around his jaw, that will be good to uh, move the lymphatic fluid around that area. Three thirty PM. Stella is sleeping on the turbo scratcher. She is so funny. I don't know why she's sleeping on there. She just loves it so much. There's Hydrox. Hydrox just showed up. He must know I'm feeding the cats. I also put some food out for him. I put the leftover raw food from the cat's breakfast out there. It is about 6.30 p.m. and I fed the cats their dinner downstairs because it's cooler down here and this uh, ceramic tile stays nice and cool. Um, it's about 10 degrees cooler down here and I gave them two paper platters so Boo's been eating on this one. They're getting the Stella and Chewy's rabbit morsels and the Nature's Variety chicken medallions and Boo's been eating all of the rabbit morsels off of this platter Simba and Splash were eating off of this platter. Splash ate a bunch of the rabbit morsels, a little bit of the chicken, and then he walked away. Right now he's laying down on the ottoman across the room. But there was some tension between Boo and the other cats, and uh, that's why I uh, separated the plates a little bit. And I did have to bribe Boo to eat, but what I did was I bribed him with one of the bench and field treats. So all totaled, he got served two of the bench and field treats and that was it. So uh, no other crunchies with the dinner. And Stella has been hanging out here in the next room, waiting for the other cats to finish so she could kind of eat what's left. It's 9 p.m. We're having crunchy time. And this is the first crunchy time we're having without crunchies. Instead, we're having these pure bites. Uh, these are freeze-dried chicken breast and duck liver treats. So what I want to do is basically see what happens if I take the cats off crunchies. Today will be their first full day without crunchies. When I say crunchies, I mean dry cat food. Um, anything that is more than like one or two ingredients. So this is like freeze-dried meat. Um, so this is really not like dried cat food. Um, this is more like a cat treat. That's what it says on it. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to replace crunchy time um, with something a little bit healthier. So they're actually getting a few leaves of fresh catnip each. So fresh herbs are good. And they're also getting some of this freeze-dried chicken breast and duck liver. Okay, so I just gave each of the cats a leaf of fresh cat grass. 
and for some reason they're not eating it today they ate it so fast the other day but they're not eating it now I don't know why the only thing I did different the other day versus today is that I rinsed it in some tap water so unless something in the tap water so Simba is eating booze he just ate it your booze is the one that I really want to eat it okay so Stella will eat it if I put it if I give it to her like on the twig on the branch like whatever you want to call this and Simba has figured it out. He was the first one to figure it out. But I want Boo to eat it because it's good for his teeth. Come on. Come on, Boo. You like catnip. Okay, I gave a few to Boo on the uh, little plate to the right and it's empty I gave a few to Simba he ate his I gave some to Stella she doesn't really care for it and then Simba just stole splashes okay Boo's gonna eat Stella's okay so the verdict is that Boo loves these pure bites Simba loves these pure bites and Splash not so much and Stella has not really even eaten one of them Boo would eat this whole bag if I let him thank you for watching this lucky Earl's video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you